Today we're going to be talking about passwords and how you can keep your passwords safe and secure so that they can't be cracked. But what do you need to? It's not as though you're going to let any old stranger into your home to use your computer. Well, criminals and hackers want to get access to email accounts, online banking systems and websites such as PayPal, either to send spam email or to steal money. So you need to make sure your passwords are secure. So we'll start with what sort of passwords you shouldn't have. Here's a brief list. So why shouldn't you have these types of passwords? They are very common after all. Well, the first way to crack a password is through what's called a brute force dictionary attack. Hackers and criminals will literally set their computer going checking passwords based on dictionaries of full words and names. These, these are the easiest passwords to crack. Then other passwords such as national insurance or social security numbers are well-known formats. They're easy to crack as well. Let's look at some examples. This website is howsecureismypassword.net and it's one of my favourites for letting you know whether the passwords you're using are safe and secure. So let's try some common words. One of the most common passwords is the word password. This website is telling us that it's one of the most common passwords and would be cracked by a computer almost instantly. So what if we tried my name? Mike. Again, it's one of the 500 most common passwords because it's a very common name. A name like Judy is less common but would still take only a fraction of a second for a computer to crack. So what if we tried my full name? Mike Halsey. It would take a computer 163 days to crack this password, but a criminal could guess this automatically just because it's my name. It's still not secure. Even if I put my date of birth at the end of it, the year of my birth, then it's, it's still not a secure password because the year of your birth is simple and easy information for a criminal to find. So. How can we make a, sec a secure password? Well, there are some simple rules. First of all, your password should be a minimum, a minimum of eight characters in length, preferably 10. But there are some other characters you can use as well. And let's look at how we can take some common passwords and make them much more secure. Let's go back to the password, password. On its own, it's one of the most 500 most common passwords and would be cracked by a computer almost instantly, or guessed by a criminal instantly. So if we use some of these techniques, inserting numbers and random characters, we can make it much more secure. Let's say, for instance, that we want to insert a capital S as the first S. It's still one of the most common passwords because it would still be guessed quite simply. So we need to make it more simple. If we put a capital S and a 5 instead of the next S, immediately it would take 252 days for a computer to crack this password because we've inserted a capital letter and a number. If we then insert a star instead of the 0, being shift 8 on your keyboard, it would take three years. But it's still not a secure password. So let's look at another tool we can use for creating super secure passwords.
Password Card is an excellent website for creating really secure passwords. So let's have a look at it and see how it works. Password Card gives you a seemingly random selection of upper and lower case letters and numbers, which you can download from the website. No two password cards are the same, they're all unique and they're easy to use. But you should make sure you have several copies of your password card because if you lose it, you could lose your password. It's easy to use. You see those random symbols along the top row? Well, if we pick one of these, let's say we want to pick the smiley face. And then we pick a row of numbers. Let's say we want to pick row number four. Where these two characters intersect is where our password will begin. If we want a 10 character password, it would begin with the lowercase letter C here. So we can select a password of 10 characters. We now have a completely random password C7MBQ capital Z capital Z HYM. That's a very secure password. Let's type it into the previous website and see just how secure it really is. This website is now telling us it would take about 2,000 years to crack that password. But could we make it even more secure? You can create an even more secure password by making it longer. If we went to 15 characters, then that would be even better. Let's say we want to start at the umbrella and row 2. That would give us the number 5 to begin our password. So we'll count 15 characters. Now we have an extremely long password. So let's check how secure this one is. Now we have an extremely secure password. It would take an average computer today about 2 trillion years to crack this password. So that's nice and secure. But do you really want to go to such extreme lengths, especially if you don't want to carry a password card around and you want to remember your password? Well, here are some examples that I would recommend. It's not very difficult to create really strong passwords. Just remember to use a combination of upper and lower case letters, numbers and random symbols and characters. Then you have a password that will probably never be cracked, so you can rest safe in the knowledge. So that's all for now. I hope you found this helpful. And in other webcasts we'll talk about other PC security issues such as staying safe online and protecting your computer from viruses and malware. But for now. Goodbye.